Okay, so now we're ready to make the cashew cheese. And the reason that I did the parmesan before this is because I wanted to let the cashews soak just a little bit longer so that they had an hour. And that way the nuts are nice and soft and it's going to make the cheese nice and creamy. So this uh, has a few ingredients here. Some of them you'll be familiar with with the other recipes. So we have our cup of, actually your recipe says two cups, but I'm only going to do half recipe. Um, cashews soaked for at least an hour. Then we have um, lemon juice, nutritional yeast, which is going to, I'm sure, become one of your favourite ingredients in your pantry. We have apple cider vinegar and we have miso. Now the recipe says you do either nutritional yeast or miso, but I'm going to do half of each because I like it to be really tasty. We have olive oil, we have salt and some spring water. That's what's going to make up your cheese. And what do you need? You need your Vitamix. That's all you need to make a nice creamy cheese. Okay, so we just have a little case. You see the consistency? It's thick. Uh, it's creamy, but it's not solid. This is a soft cheese. It's like a cottage cheese. Wow. It really gives it a kick with the apple cider vinegar and the nutritional yeast. Mm -mm. Okay. So we're going to pop that into a little bowl. I'll let you see the consistency once it's poured out, how creamy it is. And this is another thing that you should always have in the fridge. So if you can see, it's beautiful, it's so smooth. You see, this is why you need the Vitamix. Because this is the only blender, um, apart from maybe the Thermomix, which is double the price at least, that's going to make this, these creamy sauces and things. This again, you're going to use in so many different recipes. And there are a few adjustments that you can make um, to this cheese where you can make it into sour cream um, or you can make it into a fermented cheese. But that's a different course. So many things to learn. So that's your cashew cheese, and now the exciting part, you're going to get to see me use the spiralizer, and we're going to make the zucchini noodles, and then put everything together for this amazing dish. So let me pop that in the fridge, and I'll be back in a few.